see me kind of talking about my experience with getting my wisdom teeth out. I got my wisdom teeth out November 19th. Um, it is currently November 24th. I finished all my antibiotics today. Um, and I kind of talk about everything like throughout this video. But the first couple of clips, I'm not talking. And that is because um, of how much pain I was in. I still am in pain, like, currently, actually. But, um... I'm trying to stay off of just the ibuprofen stuff. Um, I haven't been taking like that heavy pain med since like the second day, honestly. But um, I'm trying to lean myself off of just the regular ibuprofen and just kind of deal with the pain. <laughs> um, basically, my top two teeth were fine. My bottom two teeth were severely impacted. They had to take them out in like three different portions. Um, my biggest flare up is like right in this area and currently it's like up here over by my ears. And I can't tell if that's actually from the surgery or just a combination of the surgery and the changing weather. But that is currently my biggest problems. Um, before I went, I was super scared. They ended up having to stab me twice because they stabbed me right here and my vein wasn't strong enough so then they stabbed me in my hand which are both bruises still because I'm anemic so um, I'm probably going to pop back in every now and then or I'm just going to do voiceovers I haven't really decided but yeah okay bye hi so it's the night of my surgery it's actually like 1 a.m. now I can't really talk so like most of what I'm gonna be saying I'm probably gonna like go over um, pains mainly like right here when I talk but otherwise it's pretty good um, I've had three pudding cups and one thing of mashed potatoes for my first night but in terms of how my surgery all went I'll put that before this cuz like it really hurts to talk and I'm really swollen so yeah this stuff is the next day, and it was probably the worst day out of everything. Um, I was constantly uncomfortable the whole day, even on my pain medication. And I had ice packs to my cheeks constantly throughout the day. But I did manage to actually try and eat some real food, which is what I'm showing you now. So yeah. Oh, Lily's mad. I get it. She can't explain it, so sh her thing does. Her fam? No. I mean, it's funny saying her thing, though. Isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? She never has any rich fortune, so it's so funny. <laughs> day three it's like almost noon i've done nothing but lay in bed well actually not in bed on the couch all day today um i was supposed to brush my teeth yesterday at the 24 hour mark but i literally was like having an anxiety attack because i was so scared so we're doing it today instead and then i'm gonna hop in the shower um day three is supposed to be the worst in terms of pain according to my doctors but I literally haven't had to take any pain medication so far today, although I did take just like the ibuprofen so I can brush my teeth because I have a feeling that this isn't going to be like the best experience. So we're going to get into that I guess. I'm back and showered um my mom came in and helped me brush my teeth because I was getting nervous about it um it wasn't super bad I had like a lot of toothpaste still like stuck afterward though so I had to keep like swishing water because I can't really like form my mouth to like spit my lips started bleeding and I have Vaseline on my lips now because they're super like dry um honestly I really needed to brush my teeth obviously so like I'm kind of glad that that happened um in terms of pain it has gone up since before but it's not like pain pain like 
I have a high pain tolerance, so like it's still not like bad. Plus I did take the um ibuprofen before, so I bet you that's either gonna kick in or is helping. I don't really know how that thing all works. Um, I can talk a lot more today. I can open my mouth a little bit more, but like my goal is still to kind of go like easy on myself until like maybe tomorrow. So yeah. Honestly, I just really wanted actual food, so I ate pasta majority of the time. Um, I also had my friends come over. Graf finally fixed my lights that have been broken since summer. If you've been watching them, um, my video is not them. And it was honestly nice to see people, but this was my first time, like, actually talking since having my um, wisdom teeth out. And so afterwards, I was, like, kind of extra sore than normal. And I'm still kind of working on the more I talk, I am sore later on that day. And it is kind of a problem that I've been having. Um, a lot of these are just clips of like me eating and what I was doing because honestly, I lived on this couch. Okay, hi, so I look like crap. I probably should wash my hair again because it looks really gross. But um, today is Monday. I had my surgery Thursday. So you do that math. I'm not wanting to i'm actually in the middle of doing my math homework right now and i'm avoiding it by doing this instead um but clearly i don't know if you can tell i'm a little bit more energetic than i have been talking isn't really that much of an issue for me honestly during the daytime i really don't have any issues it's when i go to go to sleep at night that it's not so much like pain anymore it's like my nerves from where like they cut in it's really not this side at all but I also sleep on this side so that could be why I don't really know but this side does still hurt me every now and then and um I am still taking my ibuprofen when it does hurt I'm not always on it obviously like there's no need to be on it if it's not hurting that bad you know you know um but I feel like by tomorrow I'll probably be good enough to um go back and explain the whole experience and stuff and do all of the voiceover things that I'm supposed to be doing throughout this because I haven't done that yet so watching this is just like five minutes of random clips of food and what I'm doing being on this couch but yeah I mean I'll probably do a whole different outro tomorrow but um I guess this is kind of like the final update because I finish my antibiotics tomorrow morning so then I'm pretty much done. So yeah, that's that's that. Okay. Um, oh, also a little side note, which if you are one of those people that doesn't like talking about eh, girly things, which is not really a girly thing, but whatever. If you don't like that stuff, click off or like skip forward a couple seconds like now. Okay, so basically... Being on pain medication can make people constipated. Did you know that? Yeah, that's a thing. And so basically, we've been tracking my last poops, basically, <laughs> to make sure I don't get constipated. And um, I did not know that that was a thing until um, this experience. And I did end up needing to take medication because I did actually get constipated so that's but we're good now <laughs> that stuff I don't know I guess some people get weirded out talking about that stuff and I mean I'm putting it online so that's the little like weird part but I guess it's like it's for educational purposes it's not really like yeah whatever but like I work in the medical field I ask people if they've pooped every day that I'm at work so like me I don't really care about it when it comes to that stuff like I talk to my friends about it although I am mainly friends with guys too so it's a little different I guess but like I don't know that stuff just doesn't really bother me so sorry if it bothers you but we're all human we all do it so yeah okay I'll shut up now okay so um that was this video I hope that you all learned something. Maybe you're no longer super scared about getting yours out or like relate to this because you had yours out, whatever reason you were watching this. Um, I personally didn't watch any videos before getting mine done, but that's because 
I never watch videos before getting it done because otherwise I obsess over it and start creating different scenarios in my head and it's just not good. But um, yeah, that's the end. Um, before I go though, I will say that on whatever day it is now, today's the 24th, I got them out the 19th as I said in the beginning, but um, it doesn't really hurt me during the day. It honestly hurts when I'm trying to relax and when I'm trying to sleep and that's the most annoying time and I haven't been able to sleep very well. I keep waking up like every hour or two. And it's kind of stressful and annoying, but yeah. Okay, that's the end of this video, as I already said, so bye! <laughs>